everybody, this is Praxis, and today's been a super productive day for me. It's been a while since I've gotten so much done. As uh, you've probably seen in the last few videos, I pick a little bit at the project in one day, pick a little bit at another day. But today is the last day of dry weather before we're going to have almost a week of rain. So I really wanted to get a lot of carpentry stuff done and uh, kind of set uh, so that I could work on things while it's rainy over the next week. Um, so I had fire under my butt and it paid off today. Uh, the first thing I did is I was using these uh, uh, wall boards for uh, finishing off all the trim boards around all the windows. Uh, they all have a top piece and side pieces. I got them all cut to length, uh, all sanded, and they're all ready to go in. The only variable is that uh, some of the widths on top of the windows are a little bit uh, you know, different between them, so I cut all the tops a little bit long, and I can just trim those down. I can do that in the greenhouse when it's when it's rainy, but uh, it's nice to have all that done and it's just stacked and ready to go. It's like a pile of Legos ready to be assembled. Uh, as soon as I finish with that, um, my next priority really is to try to get the big pile of um, tongue and groove boards that are up by the shed still, the ones I was using for the walls of the shed, uh, to use up as much of that as I can because I want to um, know how much of that I have uh, left for the next project, which is really important, which is getting the woodshed together. Uh, so I want to grab everything I need from that pile and, you know, use it up and then know what I'm going to have left in the end. Um, so the, one of the next things I wanted to do was to get this surface done. Now this, I'm not sure I've ever really referenced this before, but this is, this is kind of the ceiling of the entry area where you kind of step in to get out of the rain. You're underneath the, you know, this floor or ceiling. Uh, and then there's a door right below me where you can kind of come in and enter the house. Uh, this uh, had all winter just been, well, that piece of pink foam insulation was just set on top here to try to keep winter w air from kind of blowing up in here and to some degree keep birds and animals from getting in. I think mice were still able to kind of get up and around. So I'm working on kind of finishing this area off. I'm just about to nail this board in and I've got this last one to go in, which I think is down by my feet somewhere. I don't know where I put that. But the thing I wanted to talk about is uh, the type of boards I'm using for this. Um, all the walls were done in tongue and groove board. And the way tongue and groove board uh, works is you got uh, kind of like a groove section and a tongue section, and they engage with, the, with each other. So it kind of holds uh, the boards together in that way. This is shiplap, and shiplap is different. Shiplap just kind of layers over each other, which is fine if this hand wants to push down. There's some resistance there. But if this hand wants to push up, there's not. And uh, you can see that that's kind of uh, having an effect here. Like there's a little ridge right here where this board kind of goes down and this one kind of comes up. Uh, and this board here, I can push down on it and you can see there's no resistance. This one doesn't go with it. And if you look underneath, you can see there's a bit of an uneven finish on it. So the way that I'm going to use these boards so that they don't look all like kind of ratty is uh, I've got this pre-cut piece of strapping right here, and once I finish the last board over here, what I'm going to do is lay this down in the middle and use this to kind of pull all the pieces together. I've got these uh, one and a quarter inch screws here, and I'm going to be uh, using those to kind of screw into this to pull this board up, screw into that to kind of secure it, and that, you know, I think one down the middle of these boards are just about five feet long. I think one down the middle will do it. Uh, if it doesn't, I can always do two runs, you know, do one one piece of strapping here and a second one over there. I think one's going to do it, but it's a, it's a tiny little extra step that I have to take just because this, these boards are, they're not specifically for this kind of a purpose where you need, you're need you kind of making a wall because they don't engage with each other, but I've got them and I can get them to work with just a little bit of extra effort here. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, it's going to be nice to have this done though because I'm really trying to secure these places up. Uh, like I said, there have been some mice occasionally coming in and, um, you know, from a security standpoint, I mean, there's a locked door behind me, but, you know, if you had someone that wanted to, they could just climb right up and uh, on and over it. Of course, if you look behind you, uh, that's a black tarp uh, covering up that window over there. So, you know, there's, there's, there's holes that abound all over the place. And, you know, if you come down to it, there's a glass window right down here and, um, you know, there's keys all over the place in the form of rocks. So, you know, real, realistically, people can get in if they want to, but you'd like to make it a little bit more difficult. And at the very least, this should keep the mice out. And that's it. Thanks for watching.